Hi, Mr. Tracker 18 meteorologist Sherry Landry for tonight. We're going to continue to see some chance for rain at 49 degrees. Those chances begin mainly after 5 a.m. So it isn't going to be a fully rainy Monday morning. Though more, most of you are going to be waking up, you're going to see those showers moving in. Patchy dense fog as well, down to about a quarter of a mile or less at times. Then tomorrow's high temperature at 65, much warmer as these rain chances are due to a warm front. So that is what's powering these storms and giving us this warmer weather. Going to see that in the morning hours, more dry but cloudy in the evening with winds at 7 to 12 miles an hour. As you take a look, that first round of rain moves out as what we've seen for much of the day. You are cloudy for the night, but then as you head into Monday morning, then you're going to start to see some showers moving in it. And as you can see, it moves from the south and southwest, moving north and northeast. You'll see those chances begin after 5 a.m. and onwards. These are scattered at times, so you're not going to see rain every single moment of the morning and especially as you head into the afternoon hours, but do expect some rain at times until around 2 to 3 p.m. afterwards. Well, you're going to expect those chances to dwindle and you're going to stay cloudy for the rest of the day. You will end up seeing that rain return, though. That's going to be in the morning of Tuesday. A uh, similar time too, right about, about after 5 a.m. and onwards, you're going to see, see showers moving through, though this time comparatively more widespread and heavier at times, maybe even a thunderstorm or two for election day morning. So you're going to see these widespread showers for much of the morning and even parts of the afternoon. And we even talked about the afternoon hours. Some areas in the north and northwest, like Polk and Barron, may see some mixed rain of some rain and or snow. So we might end up seeing that. I don't think it's going to get as far south into Eau Claire territory, but nonetheless, you have some mixed precipitation possible before that rain moves out. Now, election day will won't be won't be a fully rainy day. In fact, in the evening hours, once we get to 3, 4 p.m., then we'll expect some drier conditions and you will see those rain chances subside. Uh, so those that are going out to vote, that's when you're going to end up seeing that rain fully end for rain accumulation. We're going to see areas up to about a inch and a quarter possible. Most of us will get at least a quarter of an inch. And I think that's the lower end. Much of the area will be on that half an inch or greater, including Eau Claire. So plenty of rain to add on here for the month of November. However, isn't the best time because while well, it is election day, some of us are going to be going out to vote. So that's going to be something to be in the way. We'll continue to track those storms though as we continue to head into election. Election day itself. Drier weather will ensue after Tuesday. We will be dry all the way through the rest of the work week. Over the weekend, will spark some more chances Saturday and Sunday.